Hey guys, this is Kabir, aka Kabir with Colors, and this is one of my very first tutorial videos on creating a cinematic look complete from scratch. This is a very, very basic tutorial for those who are very new to the Winch Resolve uh, color grading. And uh, I just wanted to keep it as simple as, as possible. And, and yes, by the way, before I begin anything, just so you know, I'm currently using the Winch Resolve 19 Studio. So even to replicate the same look, maybe the same method that I do, you may need uh, the Winch Resolve Studio. But if you're using a free version, just uh, uh, maybe comment down and let me know and I might make a new video on, on free software as well. So currently the footage that I have is a shot on Black Magic Raw. So this is like my very first node. You should be seeing this node. The very first thing that I like to begin with and just to have the depth is uh, going after contrast. I'm going to just crank down the contrast as much as I want until it's getting too dark. Let's say this is getting too dark and you know, and as you can see, like my highlights are already way too bright and the shadows and the foreground, at least and this area is more darker than that. For that, I'm going to use pivot. So just do remember that contrast and pivot just go side by side. I'm just going to play around with it until I'm very satisfied. At least I can uh, see that there's some depth. Also that I can see that it's not too bright or not too dark, you know, somewhere in the middle. Now I'm gonna go and add another node. Just gonna right click, add a node, add a serial node, okay? This is another node. Nodes are basically like layers. If you have ever worked in Adobe Photoshop and they have layers, one after the other that is exactly how node works okay now i'm gonna go and crank some saturation as much as i need maybe i'm just gonna pull it further and then try to crank it back okay maybe this is fine also a little color boost just a tiny bit okay this is too much okay yeah so this is fine just with two nodes we are here I'm gonna create another node and see the reason uh, I don't use a single node for contrast, for saturation and for the, the next step that I will be doing is because, uh, you know, when I want to go back to any node, I need to know every single node that what they're doing and maybe I want to just reduce the saturation and uh, make things work. And I just need to work on the contrast. Maybe I don't need the contrast anything uh, and any longer, maybe on other node, I'm just giving you an example. So this is a much more simpler process to going back and forth uh, and just using one node for one job, not like for five, six jobs at a single time. And of course, we, we generally have uh, different, different uh, nodes structure one after the another. And, uh, you know, you must have seen big node trees and we are not uh, focusing on making it more complicated but more uh, easy to understand user friendly. So I'm going to use the third node for getting more uh, exposure and maybe more light on his face. For that we usually use uh, primaries. Primaries here you see the primaries color wheels and I'm going to use gain. Gain is basically uh, works mainly for your highlights and somewhat midtone as well, but mostly, mostly on your exposure side. So I'm just going to increase it just a little until I'm satisfied. And as you can also see on my, a scope, which is per at the moment, we use four different scopes or, uh, depending upon the complexity of the work for the using, I'm using per as of now. Okay. Maybe I need more gamma. More gamma is again, is, is working on the middle. And it's trying to catch whatever that lies between the highlights and shadows. Okay. And you know, because I use a little more gamma, my shadows are also up. So, so I'm just going to use lift and crack it a little, little down until it looks more decent and in depth. Okay. Maybe right here is fine. I just made another node. I'm gonna make a parallel node or again, just right click, add node, add a parallel node. The normal nodes that you see or the layered node, they work like this, but parallel nodes on the other hand, they work sideways. So they're not overwriting each node, but they're working on sideways. Collectively, if I add more parallel nodes and after that I create another uh, another serial node and this node will be overwriting all, all the changes that we will be so for the very first node, I'm just going to go under my curves 
and I'm gonna go over to my hue sorry hue versus hue and I can I'm going to hue versus hue because I can see some of the yellow tones on his skin tone as well I, I just want it to crack it down to make it more on a reddish and orange flavor so if I just want to pick I can just pick entirely the color from his skin otherwise what I uh, like to do is just pick yellow from this side I'm just gonna crank it up a little you can see the difference a little difference tiny difference on his face as well okay this is the before and after and also you can see that this area is also being effective because I'm, I just didn't use uh, a very small part of the skin tone but I just use completely yellow so this area is also being affected but I intentionally want that to look more on the the orange or the reddish side to play around with my blue tones and I'm just gonna raise it also I think uh, this area is uh, less saturated and I want more saturation specifically on the mountains and the color of his jacket whatever he's wearing so to increase just the saturation of a very specific color, I'm just going to go under hue versus saturation. So do remember that we were in hue versus hue. Hue versus hue just changed the color of a particular color. Let's say blue to uh, magenta, red and whatnot. But hue versus saturations, pick that specific color that you want and increase or decrease the saturation. So I'm just going to increase saturation for blue, dark blue raise it okay that is something i'm pretty satisfied with okay as of now we are here and it's looking quite fine other than that i want to on the very next node uh, i usually have another node but i'm just going to use this node and apply a uh, film look creation which is a game changer you know currently the mixture 19 has i will go under my effects i will type film look creator i'm just gonna drag and drop and this is currently we have uh i like the look i like the tone that it has uh for sure but uh, you know it's already pretty dark so we we will be fixing that in a bit as well but you can always go under core look and change you know, your own preference what kind of look you may need like this this one this i maybe like this much better and vintage okay no, this is maybe too much cinematic or this okay maybe maybe this one is better for my taste at least for for now yeah okay but i also want to uh, decrease like what i like the color tone but i think currently it's uh just maybe a little too much for me so i'm just gonna decrease the opacity of this node and to do that you just need to go to the key node uh, go to the key output and uh, just reduce it a tiny bit until you're satisfied so so okay i'm gonna go somewhere around 800 db yeah this is fine uh now as you can see that we have started building a look that we actually need and the, the one thing that i notice is that it's not uh, all all the highlights that i can see my focus is definitely going on the sky and not on him specifically and on the on the foreground as well so we need to fix that as well First, I'm just going to go under my film look creator and see if I can do some changes. For example, less contrast. Yeah, I think this is working fine. This is okay. A little maybe. And a little less highlights as well. Highlights are basically, again, all uh, the, the brighter part of the footage. Okay, so this is uh, this is fine this is definitely fine at least for now okay i'm gonna make another note and uh, again this is the shortcut that i'm using currently but uh, based on your system you can just right click and add a serial node that's it as simple as that so i'm just gonna create a node just leave it there i'm gonna create another node i'll bring it here and maybe another node now uh, just to bring more uh, definitely more brightness on his face on his body as well i'm just gonna go under uh, my second last node to go into my curves and use windows so just gonna place it here use this to move make it a little big 
Uh, and a little big as well. Okay, light is coming from this side. If you're trying to, I'm just trying to focus mainly on him, nothing else. Once and once, once I'm done, where I really want it, just uh, once uh, you're done with the note, just don't forget to add some softness. Otherwise, it's gonna look too weird in the screen. Add some softness. Okay, it's fine. But also, uh, this has uh, increased my shadows as well. So I'm just just gonna reduce uh, the shadows just a tiny bit. Okay, this should be fine. Yeah. I think this is this is much better okay so i'm just gonna use the next node uh to play around with my color splice color splice is basically helps in uh, picking specific colors from the footage and mainly just working from them for example i want to uh, work a little on his skin so let's say that you can also see the skin tone uh, option right uh, from color splice as well i'm just gonna increase a little saturation let's see okay so i'm just working on his skin okay and maybe a little brighter maybe it's fine just gonna make it more on the reddish tone oh this is too much okay this might be i don't like uh, that much pink Do you want to make it still natural? Yeah, I think for now it's fine. I'm just going to go back for my previous node that was empty. And I'm going to go under my temperature. And just play the left and right more. Okay, I like it a little better when it's warm. Something like this. Okay, so just to fix and just to play around with specifically on the, uh, the highlights, I just added another node. I will go under my HDR, okay, and uh, I will go under the light. You see the light. If you use uh, this sneak peek button, I'm not sure what is it called, but if you use this, and you will be able to see exactly what is it selecting. So you can see uh, it's also selecting some of my skin tone as well, and we need we don't want to, them to touch the skin tone. So in order to control that. I will just press the uh, the light editor button right here. If you just click it, first of all, you need to turn on this preview button. Then use currently my red zone, which is selected as light. Play around with it until I don't see my skin. Yeah, for now it's it's okay. Now I'm gonna turn it on, and whatever whatever I'm gonna do, expose or reduce it. It's gonna work so i'm just gonna make a little lesser somewhere in the middle of 1k to 900 and uh, if i want to play with specifically for my highlights colors i can definitely go and use it with my taste like that yeah also you know you can you can see the noise itself it's 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 way too much right here so in order to reduce the noise i'm gonna make another note right before this Add a note and a cedar note before. Go on my motion effects. I'm just gonna make it two for now and uh, just crank it to eight. Also, if you don't have a, a very strong power computer system, then I think you should just uh, change it from faster to better and change this for faster to better as well. I'm gonna use my chroma to around eight or ten, something that you like. Yeah. You can go further as well, but this gives a fine result. So even like the skin tones and everything is more smoother, but at least you were able to fix these junky noise. This is fine. And just to sum up anything, and you know, even if you want to fix anything, I usually add another note. Like sometimes you like to play uh, with the looks and maybe you want to change something. For example, uh, I want to just change a little the tone of the shadows just to make it a little more clear uh, tone. Match it while it's looking more natural. Okay. This is fine. I like it much. 
better before and after and fortunately all my video recordings are up so that means finally i recorded my purpose of this video is just to show you how to use certain features that will help you create your own desired look as well